What's up guys, it's Kate. As I've started to get going with this new account and try to save as many units as I can, I've had to really prioritize which masteries to spec and which masteries to hold off on. So, for any beginners or anybody looking to respec, let's talk about in phases from most essential to luxury masteries, how I would go about unlocking and specking your mastery tree. So phase one, the essentials. First and foremost, and any content creator will tell you this, the essentials are gonna be parry and dexterity. So that means your first three points and your first few stony cores are gonna be dedicated to unlocking limber, parry, and dexterity. You're only gonna need one point in each, and even though the stony cores might cost more units than you wanna spend, it doesn't look like the Contest of Champions team is really planning on adding them as in-game mechanics anytime soon. Let's move into phase two. What I would do next is move over to defense, spec vitality, greater vitality, and max block proficiency. As defense goes, this is really the essential mastery and is the one that should be maxed. It's gonna make all your champs far less squishy and it's gonna reward your great play in more advanced content. This way your champs aren't taking any more damage than they need to and you add far more sustainability to your roster. Once you've done that, we move into phase three, which is specking strength, greater strength, and probably three in courage. It's because courage only costs gold to spec and you won't need to get any stony cores to start unlocking it. This will add a little bit of punch to your champs without breaking the bank. From there, things really open up. So for phase four, I would unlock Pierce so you can get to precision and cruelty. Now this is gonna be the first phase that's gonna cost quite a bit. But by this point, hopefully you've developed enough of a roster to start grinding arena and getting units for free. Or if you're not free to play, hopefully you're spending your units wisely. By the time you get precision and cruelty maxed, and it may be a while because they cost a lot of points, you'll be hitting decently hard and options really start opening up. Where I would move next for phase five is utility. Why? Because they're cheap and because they'll add a lot of bang for the buck. Whether you wanna max parry first to get more block damage or start specking stupefy is up to you. But as soon as you can, I would get over to pacify and max it because inevitably you're gonna start running into magics and assuming your champs aren't quite at the R5 level, she's gonna eat through them. Stupefy and pacify really go hand in hand. So the longer you can have that stun, the better you can control that power. While Petrify is good, and it definitely helps to control power, I wouldn't make it a priority. Next, I would max parry if you haven't already, and then move into phase six. Now at this point, you've got a few options. You can keep working on damage, and start getting into glass cannon, or start opening up the really expensive despair, deep wounds, and assassin tree, or depending on the regen champs you have, you can start getting into salve and recovery. Whatever you do, I would just keep one in salve, and max recovery. Even if later on you end up specking willpower because you're running suicides or for whatever reason, I still probably wouldn't spec more than one point in salve. Unless you're just developing your roster and have a lot of three stars, you're really not gonna see much benefit and those points are better used elsewhere. Of course, if you want, you can keep working on the utility tree since Petrify really isn't a bad mastery and you probably wanna get into Mystic Dispersion as soon as you can. As we move into phase seven, we really get a lot more specialized. This is for those people that want to run suicides, want to grind arena, or want to have a very specialized defensive setup. So in phase seven, pop one in recoil, three in liquid courage, and three in double edge. If you've already maxed deep wounds and assassin, you're gonna to have to start divvying up your points. As a special note, some guys like running only liquid courage. That's because you don't take that initial damage that you do with double edge at the beginning of every fight. Now, keep in mind that this will nerf your regen 30%. Any poison debuff will automatically nerf characters regen 30%, but it's a much more sustainable setup because willpower and liquid courage nullify one another. That means you'll be losing as much health from poison as you will be gaining from willpower. And aside from the nerf regen, it's a lot more sustainable. Just don't use specials, unless an S3. One other way you can run single suicides is by running only double edge. That way you get to keep your regen strength and your three points in willpower will do a lot to mitigate that damage. But as a word of caution with any suicide setup, you'll definitely wanna check all of the mini boss and boss nodes and make sure that you can get past the heal block with whatever champs you choose to use. There are a lot of sacrifices when running suicides, so you wanna make sure you're well informed, well set up, and that these sacrifices are ones you can actually make and won't hurt you or your alliance. From there, depending on whether you're just grinding arena or also running content, you're gonna wanna get willpower unlocked. You're gonna need 15 points on the left side, and if you're running suicides, you're gonna want three in willpower. Moving on, you're gonna open up coagulate, 
And again, if you're running a lot of content, you may want three in there as well. If you have to sacrifice from utility, and you will if you're going max damage, I would take the points out of Pacify, Petrify, and Stupefy if you have to. Parry also give you a significant advantage when it comes to taking damage. Alternatively, if you want more out of your parry, you can put some points in Perfect Block. Now, as a standalone mastery, it's not great, and it's not going to be super useful. But the stun duration on parry does increase with perfect block chance, so that's a good way to get more out of your parry without having to sacrifice points and a stupefy. Of course, that's only really relevant if you're going max damage. Otherwise, on your way to willpower, I would put the points in energy resistance and physical resistance. And that just about covers it. The only other thing I can think that you might want to do is go inequity and resonate. Now that's a highly defensive build and you're going to have to sacrifice a whole lot in terms of utility or damage, so it's very niche. Of course, champions like Electra really benefit from masteries like Resonate, but it really isn't for everyone. And while it may help you take less damage in War or Quest, I've tried specking this way before and it wasn't what I thought it would be. But to each his own. Okay, that should just about cover it. That's how I would unlock my masteries and that's how I will unlock my masteries on the second account. Now as much as it pains me to look at these masteries and know that I once had them all unlocked, this has been a fantastic exercise in self-control and in planning ahead as we start moving through content. It's allowed us to get into Act 5 within two weeks of starting this account. Of course, we did buy the units to have the energy to do that, but I'm hoping it can help you out as well. If you have any further questions, definitely post them in the comments below. I'll be putting videos out as often as I can and I can always use more ideas. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and I'll see you on one of the live streams.